Welcome Climate Viewers. My name is Jim Lee from Climate Viewer News at climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. Um, as some of you have may, may have already heard, I have decided to not have surgery on my thyroid. And I'm trying my best to find every possible natural alternative to having them cut my thyroid out. Um, you know, with that comes a lot of advice. I've pretty much been on the phone or in contact with several people for the last two days straight. Um, and I've received a lot of advice. Um, definitely taking the advice of one of my favorite people, Marie McLaughlin. She's a homeopath. Um, and, you know, I've, I'm exploring every option. But before we get into all that, I just want to mention, you know, Climate Viewer News is my baby. ClimateViewer.com is my jump off point for all my research. And, you know, it's free of charge. Um, and if you guys want to support me by giving a monthly donation, you can hit me up on Patreon or a one-time donation on PayPal. But uh, currently I'm doing a GoFundMe. Um, for, you know, so that I can kickstart this health revolution, fix my health. Um, and I'd love for you guys to check that out. So we're going to talk about that in just a second. But some good news before we get into all that. Um, I just did a video, Chemtrails from Space, um, Aluminum and Barium Chemtrails from Space. Uh, got a lot of details on this that you guys can dig into in my playlist on all this stuff. Um, lots of references for you to dig into about how aluminum, barium, strontium, and all these chemicals have been raining down from space for 60 years, yet nobody wants to talk about it. And I just got a pretty epic retweet from a guy I'm a big fan of, uh, Lionel. I don't know if you guys have heard of him, Lionel Nation. Um, he's on YouTube. Uh, one second, let me come over here. Let me bring this over here. I'll just bring him up real quick. Because uh, I think the guy's amazing. Um, <clears throat> he did a video a couple of years ago called Harp and Futzing with the Weather. I wonder if it's even still on it. On, um, YouTube. Let's see. And bring that up real quick. Uno momento. But regardless, um, Lionel took note, and I really appreciate him retweeting that out because I think this is very important information. And um, yeah, there it is. This is one of my favorite videos ever. Uh, and, you know, here he is, Lionel Nation. If you guys haven't checked him out, subscribe to his channel on YouTube. But, uh, you know, he basically goes on to talk about HARP and how, you know, if you were wanting to be a terrorist and control somebody's weather, um, what better way to do it? So, you know, he made this video in 2012. It's still one of my favorite videos I've ever seen. I'll drop it in chat for everybody watching live. If you haven't seen it, it's freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, Lionel retweeted my aluminum barium chemtrails from space. And uh, if any of you guys know Lionel, I said back to him, I'm a huge fan. I have been since Harp and Futzing with the Weather. I'd love to do an interview with you. Hopefully we can make that happen because we could really get this message out to a lot of people. That'd be epic. Um, but, you know, most people haven't seen all of my research um, still to this day. You guys know how censored we are. But check out weathermodificationhistory.com for the big picture. And, of course, you can come over to climateviewer.org and see all the ionospheric heaters from around the globe. Um, now, this video is really kind of about a response to a comment I got that kind of just uh, got me miffed. So, I'm going to just jump right to that. So, I'm doing a fundraiser. I don't know if you guys know that. Um, 
It's at GoFundMe.com slash FixMyThyroid. And uh, the purpose of it is that, you know, I need a health makeover. I'm going to be doing a lot of things like, you know, switching to green juicing. Um, you know, a lot of things that's all listed there. But... You know, I wanted you guys just to see, you know, this is a legit thing. This is, this is where I was at, um, you know, complete total thyroidectomy on myself. It was supposed to happen June 13th originally. They moved the date up on it, um, to June 6th and, you know, some of the issues possibly related to that are pretty serious, like... Bleeding to death. Uh, seroma or just fluid on the throat. Hypoparathyroidism and hypocalcemia. Apparently when I was talking to my surgeon, they said that, you know, hey, the parathyroid is in there. And if we cut your thyroid out, we may accidentally cut that joker out too. Which means that not only will you be on levothyroxine for the rest of your life. Um, you know, you may be on like calcium and all these other supplements too, because we accidentally took your parathyroid out. That's super hella creepy. Recurrent laryngeal nerve injury with voice change and inability to sing. Uh, I don't want anybody screwing with my voice because obviously I need to be able to talk about the things I'm talking about and having my voice change is not exactly a great idea yet I signed the initials because I was in a panic state about my health inability to sing I, I love to sing um, maybe one day I will do that for you on YouTube when I get the guts to do it <laughs> but regardless um, that's where I was at and uh you know, I was scheduled to have the surgery, and um, my specialist knew about it. Um, they had prescribed me Xanax because basically I was having panic attacks um, leading up to this, and um, they dropped the ball. They were supposed to send me steroids to take seven days before my operation which they didn't do they waited to the last freaking moment and i would have only been able to take them for five days leading up to that and my surgeon was pretty adamant about the fact that hey if you don't you know take these meds for seven days prior prior being an important word to the surgery um it could be really bad so I canceled the surgery and, you know, I'd even considered rescheduling it, but I got a certified letter in the mail, termination of physician patient relationship because, uh, either the physician or patient is no longer beneficial to one or both parties and should be terminated. And that's Dr. Pondy at Carolina endocrinology bitch. Um, and I, you know, really put out by this. In fact, you know, I, you know, left him a pretty nasty gram. And what did I do? I got a call from a lawyer from their, um, office saying, Hey, you mentioned possibly suing us. And I, and the reason why is because, you know, they wanted me to sign this huge form, you know, releasing all my HIPAA information and saying, you know, I hereby discharge and release the facility from liabilities, responsibilities, damages, claims that may arise from, you know, basically dropping me on my ass. So now I'm without um, a specialist. I have no refills on my medication. Um, and, you know, Graves' disease and tachycardia are pretty freaking nuts. So, um, that being said, I've also, I'm also on Medicaid because I've basically put everything I can into this, you know, climate viewer thing, doing my activism, um, to the detriment of my bank account. I can promise you that. So, 
a little bit of background, you know, on this, you know, GoFundMe, you can read all through it. I'm 41. I've been married 18 years to the most supportive wife a man could have. I have an eight-year-old daughter and a two-year-old daughter. And we're trying to build a homestead with gardens, chickens, goats, and live off four acres of land that we have so we can have a self-sustaining, healthy diet. So um, you may hear one of the baby chicks in the background that just won't shut up. Um, but regardless, that was me in 2001, um, working for CCA or Corrections Corporation of America. Maybe you guys have heard about the private prisons. Um, and that's some of my artwork in the background. I drew that when I was like 10 years old as a charcoal photo, but regardless, um, I was diagnosed with diverticulitis in 2001 because I wasn't eating very healthy and... I was working in a prison that had 400 pound Hawaiian inmates and though I'm a martial artist, I needed to gain some weight so that I could kind of keep up with the 400 pound martial artists. I mean, Muay Thai boxers, golden gloves from Halawa, Hawaii. Um, and these were all murderers and life, you know, without parole kind of people. So CCA is a private prison and they basically were holding these individuals because they had burnt down two previous prisons and killed a whole bunch of officers. So needless to say, it was a pretty scary um, job, but no fear, man. It was tons of fun, and I would never, ever do it again. I swore off ever doing that again. And then my daughter was born in 2009, and you can see me there. You can see the before and after, you know. <laughs> Um, and this was before my activism started really in earnest. And, uh, you know, that's about the happiest face you'll ever see on a guy right there. When my daughter Caroline was born, that was my first, but in very short time, less than six months, that was me shrunken and not understanding why I actually got much skinnier than this photo um but yeah it it graves disease no fun if you if you know anybody who's ever been through it it sucks it sucks a lot so i was a computer system administrator had a cell phone with a bluetooth earpiece and a high powered wi-fi router five feet from my head like literally behind my head and that thing reached about a quarter mile um because at the time i didn't know anything about emf and i just wanted good reception out in the shop and when i'm practically you know down the road at the other shop so that and you know just i mean i turned into a shrunken individual and had no clue why and uh, I was misdiagnosed for quite some time. Um, for those who don't know, I actually talk about that now. Electromagnetic pollution, Wi-Fi ride, cell phones, Wi-Fi, and EMF health effects. So one of the reasons I talk about it because I believe that my Graves disease and you know a lot of what I've gone through has to do with heavy metal poisoning um and electromagnetic emissions so i lived downwind from shaw air force base shaw bombing range and sumter airport so i've been breathing heavy metals my entire life i also had 10 mercury amalgam fillings i've eaten gmo crap my entire life smoked cigarettes and drank caffeine heavily over 20 years so all of these things together led to my current situation. Um, sucks. <laughs> um, but I believe fully that, you know, that breathing all of this airplane dust, uh, these metal particles coming out of these planes, especially from the military, you know, Shaw Air Force Base, Sumter, South Carolina, that that's why I'm in the situation I'm in. And I know hundreds of people in town who have thyroid issues. So is it just me or is it hereditary? Like the doctors say, I don't know. You tell me. 
But regardless, I've pretty much removed all wireless devices from my life. Um, I've, you know, hardwired all of our computers in. One of my biggest problems right now, electromagnetically, is that I spend a lot of time on the computer, and I never talk about this, but having these monitors, they give off radio frequency emissions. Um, and if you go to my about page, you will see that I wrote an article um, about, uh, you know, what's called a tempest attack. And uh, real quick, tempest. And it was, uh, you know, cited by the U.S. Department of Commerce. Um, you can see it right here, tempest side channel attacks. And basically a tempest attack is from electromagnetic radiation that comes from your monitor. So while I have removed all of the Wi-Fi um, from my house, uh, here real quick, tempest site colon climate viewer, uh, climate viewer .com. While I have uh, removed all the Wi-Fi from my house, you know, spending hours on end um, in front of a monitor, not too safe for you. So what I'm hoping to do also, if I'm if possible, is get some Tempest um, rated monitors because they are zero RFI monitors. That way I can continue to do <laughs> sometimes 10, 12 hours a day of research and mapping and programming without cooking my face. Um, so if you guys have never heard of that, look it up. NSA Tempest Attack can remotely view your computer and cell phone screen using radio waves. And that's because of the radio frequency emissions coming off of it. Um, back in the day when I used to play in the hacker world, this was known as Van Eck Freaking. And uh, that's why, you know, basically the NSA can use a little directional antenna like this, sit outside your house and see your screen if they wanted to. Um, so have fun, you know, looking through that. But that's one of the one of the articles I wrote. It was uh, cited by Department of Commerce, International Trade Administration, December 2016, and a cybersecurity expert cited my article um, on that. So regardless, um, EMF still a little bit of an issue. I'd like to get some monitors that are Tempest rated so that I am completely RFI free, but hell, my neighbor's Wi-Fi is in my house. Can I sue them? No. Um, I have a smart meter in my backyard. I'm going to work on that, but regardless, you can't escape it. And with 5G coming, we all know how that's going to go. Um, but regardless, what I can do is take control of my diet. So that's what I intend to do. Um, my physicians initially, when I was looking like this, I went in complaining of neck pain and a whole lot of things. And they basically misdiagnosed me repeatedly for two years, said that it was all in my brain and they sent me to a head shrink and he put me on clonopin and just nothing went right. Finally had a blood draw. They said, oh, it's your thyroid, yada, yada, yada. So what's Graves' disease? If you don't know, um, it is hyperthyroidism. And it leads to anxiety, trouble sleeping. That's why it's 2 o'clock in the morning right now and I'm doing a live video. That's why most of my research has been in programming ends up happening in the middle of the night because I don't sleep. Um, irritability, like I've said before, if you've ever been on the end of a good gym leak cussing on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever, I have Graves' disease. I might call you a motherfucker real quick. Um, Irregular heartbeat and weight changes. I think that you guys can all see the weight changes in the photos. And right now I'm, you know, 
doing everything I can to try to get that fixed. So how do I plan on fixing this naturally? Green juicing, whole foods, anti-inflammatory herbs, ginger bone broth. Um, yeah, I've completely quit gluten. I'm dairy free now. Um, no artificial flavors, dyes, sugar, packaged foods. Um, but I've looked into some alternatives to medication because obviously since my jackass endocrinologist is mad at me because I declined to have my surgery and sent me a certified letter telling me to fuck off, um, I'm not going to have any medication in about a week or two. So number one on my list is something called bugle weed. Um, it's been suggested to me by a whole lot of people. Um, mother wart for tach tachycardia, that's to keep me from having a heart attack, keep my heart rate down. My heart tends to run about 120 beats a minute, gotta love that. And uh, lemon balm, essential oils, selenium, magnesium, and homeopathic remedies. Once again, shout out to my girl, Marie McLaughlin. She's a lifesaver. She's been working with me for the past five, six years trying to help. Um, so, you know, what am I going to do with the donations from GoFundMe? Obviously, um, I'm going to purchase a juicer. I don't own one anymore. Um, get a good food processor, get the, the remedies mentioned above. I have an offer to go out to Colorado to a hemp farm where I've been offered free services like Rick Simpson's oil and uh, hemp oil and just some rest and relaxation for stress um, but they've offered to keep me for free and um, would like to take my wife with me because she is my rock and she's going to support me on this you know healing trip so that's this is how we're going to start um i like to purchase an organic you know green juices a good muay thai and punching bag with gloves because i haven't I've been, you know, out of the game for a while and getting out there and punching and kicking the hell out of something will definitely be good workout and stress reliever. Some workout equipment and several essential oils. And I'm also um, taking something called rain, as you can see right here. And this is called soul. Uh, and um, this stuff's amazing. I made a little video about it and uh, you can see it here, you know, I was going to G. Edward Griffin's uh, and it, Global Warming and Inconvenient Lie and I got sick as a dog, uh, aerotoxic syndrome flying out there, um, breathing this shit in the back of the plane. and. You know, I wasn't going to be able to go on stage. I was running 103 temperature. Um, I was throwing up all night long the night before, throwing up the following morning. Um, and my brain was completely screwed. And I met a, a guy there at Ed Griffin's conference, Freedom Force Inter International. His name is Dr. Bradley Weeks. And he said, man, you're not looking so hot. You know, what's going on? Tell me your symptoms. And that's when he gave me this. This right here. And I would say it was within the first 15 minutes, I started to notice a change. And then within an hour, my temperature had come down. I was feeling like a million dollars. And you can see... Um, you know, I made it up on stage, smiling, not sweating anymore, and I made it up through the whole thing. So, I made this little video last night with uh, Dr. Brad Weeks, who you can see right here. And uh, he's the only doctor who's actually ever helped me. <laughs> I mean, from the moment that... I started talking to him. He quickly was like, look, man, this is what you need. Try this seed drink. It's freaking amazing. And 
and I'm and this is just from me to you. I don't. You guys know me. I've been doing this seven years. I don't sell shit. Um, I talk about geoengineering and <laughs> the NSA, and you know, I, I talk about activist-related stuff. So, is this out of my comfort zone talking about selling a seed drink? Yeah, it is. But, um, what would you guys have me do? Just continue to beg for money on the internet and, uh, you know, not worry about ever making some money for my family? Apparently so, because that's exactly the kind of comments I was getting on YouTube. So, um, you know, I had this one particular asshole say, right here. In fact, I'm done. Another sellout. You have no idea how much I've promoted you. Unsubscribed. Fuck you and your website. I fucking hate sellouts. And I guess they're talking about me wearing a suit, but... You know, this is the suit I was supposed to wear when I was down at the AMS. And I couldn't even get it around my neck to button. I bought it a week before um, before I went to the you know, conference. And I was going to wear this while I was doing my interviews with all the scientists and stuff. So that didn't happen. And... You know, I respect Dr. Brad Weeks, and when he asked me to do a video with him, just telling my story about what happened there, uh, that's what I did. I said, you know what, I'm going to go put my suit on. I never do that. Um, I've unlisted this video just because, you know what, I don't need this shit. I don't need smart-ass motherfuckers calling me a sellout. Um, this gubby fuckery person took it upon themselves to mirror my video without my permission and then put sell motherfucking dick pills like Alex Jones on it. Gotta love that. So, copyright flag coming your way, bitch. Um, but anyway, I don't, you know, I'm not your salesperson. This is not what I normally do. But... In addition to this fundraiser, because this stuff actually helped me, I've actually used it before, and the first thing I could think of was, hey, if I'm going to try to go with, you know, a whole food, fresh fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, hey, wait a minute, what about that seed drink I'm, I, you know, used? Because it, like, literally saved my life in less than an hour. If I were to take this for a year, maybe it could fix my thyroid too. That's why I bought it. <laughs> so, you know, I got back in touch with Brad Weeks about that and that's what I did. So what do I do? I've now put it up on climateviewer.com. You can find it on the sidebar right here. It'll say, you know, soul, rain, life, concentrated, myrainlife.com slash climate viewer. And I've got the video, you know, though I may have unlisted it on my channel over here, it is going to be on here. It is on my fundraiser. Um, but I hope that you guys will take a look at this stuff because it is freaking amazing. Um, I've only been taking it two days now, and I'm already starting to feel much better. That's just a fact. Um, it has stem cells in it. It is completely natural. It was tested by the Brunswick Labs. Um, when you look into, do the research yourself, I put all the, inf the links to it right here that you can check it out yourself. And I'm not saying, you know, telling you that you need to go out and buy this because of blah, blah, blah. It's just offered. And the thing is, if you buy this stuff, of course, I get a cut of that. And not only is this like a donation to me, but this is going to be something that helps you. So, seems like a win-win. Rain does not control anything I say. Um, and... That's that. 
if you click the products button it'll take you over to my to the website on it and you can see so this is soul this is core he gave me both of these i took both of them and i was able to go on stage and do my presentation and that's a freaking miracle to me personally that was a miracle but you can read all about it. It's the first supplement of its kind. It's a seed-based blend packed with antioxidants, anti-aging, anti-inflammatory. And my throat is very inflamed. But you can do the research yourself. Cellular anti-inflammatory assays. Cellular anti-aging assays. Um, read all the information from the Brunswick lab on, you know, how they tested this stuff and the, you know, the tests are off the charts for the amount of nutrients and stuff that's available in this. So, I mean, you check it out yourself. If you like it, please, you know, purchase it through my site. I get a percentage of it that will help support my family and make it so that I can continue to buy this stuff. Um, comes out to about $2.50 a day. I mean, that's about how much it costs. And it's eight times, you know, stronger than eating all of this stuff com combined. And I'm still going to be juicing. So, you know, you do the research yourself. You take a look at it. I'm not owned by Core Rain or any of these people it's a side business it's something that i can offer to people and i'm buying it myself so i hope to be able to you know continue to buy this stuff and with your with your help you know that'll help me buy it so I don't, you know i don't give a damn what your personal opinion about it is you know whether you like that i'm doing this or not i'm using this stuff I need to continue to use this stuff. So if you're going to buy it, please buy it through me. You'll help me out too. That's why I put a suit on. Because I respect Dr. Weeks. I wanted to represent it well. And that's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Have I sold out because I put a suit on and I offered a product on my website now? No, I'm not fucking Alex Jones selling dick pills. But I find it highly offensive. Um, and I'm going to respond to that. Um, yeah, I can drop a link to that. It's just, there's, uh, the information is on climateviewer.com slash myrainlife. Um, and I just, basically I just mirrored this. This, you can, you can go straight over to myrainlife.com slash climate viewer this is the direct site you can see that I literally copied it and it wasn't easy but um, I literally mirrored this just as my site when you go there but if you click contact you can see that this is my page um, you know everything that you purchase from here benefits me um, I mean I'm just being as straight up and up front as I can about it so, I hope you guys will try it out. It's pretty freaking amazing. It's a brand new kind of thing. Um, and it's loaded with stem cells. And, I mean, there are people all over Hollywood injecting still stem cells into their ass so that they can try to regrow body parts and, you know, all this stuff. Well, if I can get stem cells from seeds that are cold-pressed, that are non-GMO, which are... You know, independently tested by Brunswick Labs as being off the freaking charts. And I personally used it. It saved my ass at the G. Edward Griffin um, conference. Um, you guys can see that presentation right here. Geoengineering, weather modification, and weaponizing nature. Um, I did this presentation... You know, and I go through the hundred year history of weather modification, yada, yada, yada. Um, you know, 86 slides worth of stuff. <laughs> you know, like this presentation would not have occurred if it weren't for what he did. And I was able to walk right up there on that stage in less than an hour of taking this 
rain product. That's my personal endorsement. It happened to me. It is a fact. So I went up there and I, you know, talked about all this stuff. And I mean, 45 minutes of being on the stage, going through 80 freaking plus slides was not easy. Especially after running 103 temperature and throwing up for, you know, 16 hours prior to doing it. And all it took was a little seed drink to make me feel better. So if it's that damn good, then, you know, now that I'm in the situation where I am, where, you know, my jackety ass, you know, doctor dropped me high and dry, the first thing I could think of was I should call Dr. Weeks and um, try the, the, you know, the rain products because they're packed with immune system building materials and I have an autoimmune disease. So when we were talking, he's like, well, you know, you could offer this to other people as well. And if they purchase it, then that'll help offset your costs. And, you know, people can buy it at a discounted rate. So it seemed like a win, win, win. That's why I'm now offering it. It's on the sidebar of every page of Climate Viewer. It says Rain Life Concentrated. You'll see the thing right there and it'll get you over to my rain page. But that's it. So am I a sellout for putting on my good looking suit? And I think I look damn good in a suit. I would love to wear a suit every single day, but I'm, you know, that's the only suit I own. <laughs> so let's just be real. Um, so it's, it, I think the, the product's amazing. That's why I took it seriously. I didn't want to, you know, misrepresent this stuff and I wanted to put on a good face. Um, even my wife was like, Hey, you know, you never wear a suit. What are you doing? I was like, ah, I, I, I've never done this before. You never, never endorsed a thing in my life, you know, especially a product might as well right you know what what's it gonna hurt well apparently you know a couple people were like you know what is this you sell some product or are they use you i mean i don't know what the hell people have against america and capitalism you know like i've always had some shame in just asking for donations um, but the truth of the matter is I've been doing this for seven years, averaging like $200 a month. I mean, let's be realistic. You know, you can go to my Patreon right now. I just started a Patreon. I'm up to $213 per month and I make like 80 bucks a month on my YouTube ad dollars. Now I got one of two cho choices here. I can either try to find new inventive ways like this to make some money on the side so that I can continue to do this, do the Patreon, do the PayPal, or I can just say, fuck it, fuck all y'all. And I could go make $80,000 a year right now making websites because I don't know if you've seen my websites. This is sexy website. This Weather modification history, very sexy website. I won an international design award for doing cansign.com. Check it out. Cansign.com. Won an international design award. Me and Dominic made this site together. We won an international design award for this website. So, what do you think I should do? Should I sell a couple products on the side, you know, things that I believe in and I support that have personally helped me, um, you know, beg for money on GoFundMe so that I can afford to fix my health. Or should I just say, fuck y'all, because I could do that tomorrow. And you know what? Then I'll be able to afford the best doctors around who might actually listen to me and, give a shit about me instead of just saying, hey, you know, you're on Medicaid. We're just going to chop your thyroid out because that's where I'm at. I have an option. Go chop your thyroid out or try to fix this naturally. Well, naturally is expensive. 
and my family's poor and we are trying to have a you know thank you vicky i've been i've been an artist my entire life i got my first copy of photoshop when i was 12 years old i'm 41. it was photoshop 1.0.4.4 um you know i do infographics i do a lot of things um many of you probably have seen the infographic i made here um you know 10 technologies to own the weather today and you know i you know put this together to try to summarize the big picture of weather modification this is what i do i'm a graphics artist i'm a web designer and obviously a public speaker they shot my thyroid out there might not be a whole lot of public speaking or i might sound like this from now on and nobody will want to listen anyway i don't know I'm just trying to live my life and continue doing my activism because I'm passionate about it. So, um, I'm sure there's going to be haters along the way. Um, but you know, like I said, I design websites, rednet.solutions. If you guys want to check it out, this is my personal business. You know, I haven't had anybody hit this website up in forever but that's my you know i make websites website and you know on average 400 to 700 dollars for a basic website you know is dirt cheap so if you guys are an activist and you want your website to look dead sexy i'd love to do some work for you because i don't mind working for what i you know earn and you can see here there's climate viewer news old version climate viewer 3d and Johnny's Garden, a local juice bar that I did a website for. I mean, you can go check it out. But that's my options, guys. You know, if I want to continue doing this, I've got to be able to make some money. Um, and I don't need any kind of smart assery from people calling me a fucking sellout. Um, when I, you know, I have to do something to spread the message here. Uh, the bottom line is, if you look at the stats on climateviewer.com, I mean, we're not talking about, you know, billions of hits here. I mean, yesterday there were 922 people visited climateviewer.com. 247 in weather modification history and a measly 141 people saw Climate Viewer 3D. So what's my problem my problem is that if i want to get more people to see this message if we want to break through the fear porn and get to the meteorologists the politicians to make a difference in this world you have to get your message out there and it combined all three websites twelve thousand hits Nobody's really going to this shit. They're watching the YouTube videos or watching the Facebook stream and then they're just calling it a day. So, I mean, am I wasting my fucking time here? You tell me. I don't know. Because I was fine and fat <laughs> and happy right here. Yeah, I had a couple stomach problems, but I had all brown hair and I was just fine. And right about here, when my baby was born, that's when my activism started. It was around 2009. And I got Graves' disease. And it's been a pretty rough road ever since. And I never intended on my face being on any of these videos or whatever. But... This, this is where we're at. This is my life now. Um, and I hope that you guys will help me fix my thyroid naturally. Um, because my only other alternative is go get a job and say screw this. You know what I mean? Make this like something I do rarely. Um, and I can do that. Um... I've changed many times in my life, many, many, many times in my life, and I will continue to change. 
and me offering a product on my website is obviously a change but it's something that has drastically helped me and I'm currently trying to use this stuff along with this long list of stuff that I've got on the GoFundMe um, and I don't even own a juicer you know I was on mean green doing kale ginger cucumber and all that in a juicer for two years I was off of my medication I didn't lose any weight my anxiety level was normal and I didn't even have to see a doctor and then I lost my job um, while I was on clonopin while being misdiagnosed um, hey what do you do so that's where we're at I hope that you guys will support my GoFundMe. Um, obviously, this is just a start. It's, you know, I'm going to document my progression. Um, got my little tape measure to figure out how big my thyroid is. And hopefully, a year from now, I'm going to look at everybody and go, here's how I cured my Graves' disease. And I'll be able to help other people with that too. Um, never thought I, that this would be even something that I would talk about in public. Um, as you guys know, over at ClimateViewer.com, I'm busy talking about things like geoengineering, harp, chemtrails, pollution, nuclear, electromagnetic, privacy issues. I mean, I've got the world's only NSA map. Um, nobody's got balls like that. You have no idea how much grief I catch from the government for having a spy facility map. Um, but that's why I do what I do. Because if nobody else is willing to talk about Stone Ghost and the five eyes of the New World Order and technocrats and geoengineers and name them by name, street addresses and all that. Um, that's why I do what I do. Because nobody else is doing it like me or even close um and i don't want to quit doing this because guess what the minute i do what's going to happen my daughters are going to grow up in a fucked up world where nobody is getting you know anything done about any of this stuff and i was part of the problem the only thing uh necessary for evil to prevail is for good men to do nothing and, you know, I'm willing to take the heat. I'm willing to take the, the bruises and the smart-ass comments and stuff. But I'm not willing to, you know, have my family suffer monetarily because I'm not doing everything I can at this point um, to change that. So... I'm going to explore different avenues. I'm not, I still don't want to run advertising. There's not going to be any Google ads on my freaking website. I mean, anything like that. But if I can do some, you know, little side support businesses, things like this to help um, augment our family's bank account, which is currently empty, then you damn right I'm going to do that. So. I hope that you guys will support me on Patreon. I hope that you guys will support this GoFundMe in particular because this is only about my health. Um, and my wife is trying to fully support me. She literally spent six hours today talking to people on the phone, taking notes about, you know, what we can do, um, you know, from lemon flushes to bone broth and everything in between and i'm going to try to fix this naturally and if this doesn't work a year from now i mean who knows maybe i'll just have to go back and get the surgery and say screw all this and go you know make websites for a living and make eighty thousand dollars a year because that's exactly what you know a company over in columbia offered me um and like an idiot, I said no, because then it would take away from all I'm wanting to do with this. Um, with Climate Viewer, with weather modification history, we're changing the world here. And I find it more, much more important than money. And I want to be able to have a self-sustaining homestead. I, 
you can hear my chicks in there. We're, we're going to have, you know, plenty of chickens. We want goats and all of that stuff. So that's what I'm going to be using the money that I make off of Climate Viewer for is to have a homestead. And I don't want to be rich. I could care less about being rich. Mo money, mo problems. But when I'm trying to go all organic, um, and I think if you guys know that I'm on Medicaid, you also know what that means about my food situation. Um, I need help. So I'm asking for help. It's not something I like doing. I'm from South Carolina. We pretty proud people. Um, and it's not really in my comfort zone. So, and neither was ever being on camera. So that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Um, I'm taking all the advice that has been sent my way and weighing it, you know, seeing which ones I think are going to work for me. I'm going to try a lot of things. I will share with you what I find to work. Um, and obviously this, you know, Rain's core and uh, soul products, they saved my butt when I was out in uh, Arizona. And that's why it was the first thing I could think of, you know, hey, nutritional based, it's completely non-GMO, it's seeds. I'm gonna go buy a box of this. And I literally spent half the money I had in my bank account to get it. So don't judge me. Um, and if you guys buy the product over there, hopefully if enough people buy the product over there, then I can get the product for free, which would be fucking amazing. <laughs> so that's the truth. Um, I appreciate you guys watching this video. I have canceled my surgery. I don't even have a doctor right now. I'm going to have to get somebody to monitor my blood while I transition from methimazole to bugle weed. But that's what's going on. And I'm going to continue to go right back to making videos, exposing the, the geoengineers, climate engineers, climate interventionists. Um, nobody controls what this guy says. This is my voice, my world. It's climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, and weathermodificationhistory.com. And I'm going to tell it as straight as I possibly can. No matter what, this guy will never sell out. And if you see me selling a product, that's because I've actually used it. And I think that, you know, I can make some money on the side doing it. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. I've had multiple people in the past try to reach out to me and say... Hey, we'll pay you to put X, Y, and Z on your website. And I've told them all to fuck off. So there will never come a time where somebody will dictate what this mouse says, um, no matter what. And that's the truth, period. So I love you guys mean it. Um, I am battling with this Graves disease. I hope you guys will support my GoFundMe. If you want to try the seed product, you can. You're not going to hear me shove it down your throat. Um, but I'm taking it because, you know, it's it's very, um, it's, it's fucking amazing. <laughs> I don't know what else to say about it other than that. And to the haters, double number ones. Um, and with that being said... Hey guys, remember to attack ideas, not people. If you don't like my ideas, debunk this. I double dog dare you. If you want to argue about, um, you know, geoengineering, tell me I'm full of shit. I'll gladly debate you. Come live on my show. I will have anybody on, anybody period, that wants to argue about the facts on climateviewer.com, climateviewer.org, or weathermodificationhistory.org or dot com um i just cha challenged james wyland meteorologist who was running his freaking mouth on twitter and of course he declined to respond to me um after mocking me and then i showed him like fifth, like four references on heart making gravity waves i was like yeah dude um mountains can make gravity waves but don't forget that ionospheric heaters can make gravity waves too and dropped him a whole bunch of links. And then I said, 
it, you know, he just totally ignored it and went back to mocking other people about chemtrails. I was like, dude, I'm going to call your boss and tell him that you're a fucking troll. I mean, you're a meteorologist fucking troll. So, um, if you know, these scientific bitches want to run their mouth, I will gladly debate them. If you hear me calling somebody a scientific bitch, it's because I have Graves' disease and I'm irritable. Um, but that doesn't change the facts. And, uh, you know, me calling you a bitch doesn't make mean that I'm attacking you. Attacking is a physical thing. You know, I can attack a, a, an idea and the idea behind a person who mocks and scorns others without ever wanting to debate their facts um, I find that abhorrent I find them to be cowards I find them to be spineless bitches so James Wylan surfing meteorologist double number one is to your bitch ass um, but still remember that this is about us spreading the truth and getting to the facts and that's what I mean by attack ideas, not people. Um, just because somebody says something you like doesn't give you the right to hit them, to hurt them. And words don't hurt people. Sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. And we should be able to vigorously debate. Ad hominem should be allowed occasionally. Um... But that's what I mean when I say attack ideas, not people. That nobody has the right to hurt, physically hurt another individual because they disagree with their ideas. That's what I mean. And that being said, fuck you, all you haters. <laughs> attack ideas, not people. If this video resonates with you, leave me a comment because I love hearing from you all. First time here? Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. The bell doesn't always work, so come to ClimateViewer.com and sign up for our newsletter. Remember, it would be impossible for me to do this without your support, so please join my Patreon or buy me a coffee on PayPal. And always, attack ideas, not people.